Today, we're going to take a look at secondary color correction. Up to this point, we've been focusing on primary color correction, which means making corrections to an entire image. We may just be changing contrast, or we may just be changing color, but the correction is applied to an entire image. When you make changes to only a part of an image, that's referred to as secondary color correction. To perform secondary correction, you select part of a shot based on a shape or a color range. Welcome back to Color Correction in Final Cut Pro. Just wanted to remind you guys, if you enjoy my tutorials, please let me know by liking, commenting, and sharing this video. And if you haven't yet, check out the rest of my channel for more Final Cut Pro tutorials. If you want to follow along color correcting with me, I'll include the link for the clips I use in the description. So let's take a look at our clip here. First thing we want to do is add a color correction. Open the effects browser, select color, and drag and drop the color correction effect over our clip. Now open the inspector, and if you move the pointer over the color correction line, a button appears for applying either a shape mask or a color mask to your correction. Let's start out with a shape mask. Click the apply mask button and select add shape mask. The mask appears below and in the viewer, on-screen controls appear. Let's use a shape mask to apply a vignette effect to our clip by darkening the edges. In the viewer, we can move the mask around by clicking and dragging the large white button in the center. For this effect, we'll keep it in the middle, so let's undo that. We can also adjust the size of the mask by clicking and dragging these green circles. And clicking and dragging the small white circle will make the mask more rectangular. Once again, for this effect, we want to keep it nice and rounded, so let's undo that again. We want to make our mask nice and big, so let's pull a green circle towards the edges of our image. Now, let's click on the outside ring, called the feathering ring, and pull it out some. Pulling it out creates more feathering. Next, let's go to the color board of Color Correction 1, and since we applied a mask to it, in the bottom of the color board, there's two mask options, inside and outside. Inside is selected by default, so this means any changes we make will be inside the mask. So, for example, if we go to Exposure and bring down the global puck, that change is only applied inside the mask. Let's undo that. For a vignette effect, what we want to do is select the outside of the mask and bring down our global exposure puck. Let's go back to the inspector and toggle this correction off and on. To hide these red lines in our mask effect, which can be a little distracting, click on the visibility button on the mask line. This only hides the controls and does not affect our mask in any way. Creating a vignette like this is a great way to focus your attention on part of an image, and by using a mask, we only apply color correction to a part of our shot instead of the whole thing. This is secondary color correction. If you find these tutorials helpful, please like, comment, and share this video across your social media to help me reach more people. New Final Cut Pro tutorials release weekly, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.